Hi everyone, my name is Shelly and I want to welcome you to Wigs uh, Jewelry for Your Head. Today I'm going to be showcasing how wigs look different depending on your face length and your head size. So I have two short wigs here because several of my viewers asked to see shorter wigs. So on my left, this side, I have a wig by um, Raquel Welch. Uh, it's Voltage. All right. And on this side, I have a wig that I purchased at a brick and mortar wig store in Ocala several years ago. It, I don't remember. I'll, when I take it off the head, we'll look and see what the manufacturer of it is. Okay. Um, my two friends here, if you remember Brad Mondo, I don't know if you've ever followed him, but he has a bunch of Miss Mannequins. Well, these two volunteered to come and help me out today. So this Miss Mannequin is six and a half inches from her forehead to her chin. Okay. And she's a 19 and a half inch circumference. So she is a petite head size. This Miss Mannequin is seven and a half inches from her forehead to her chin and she's 20 and three quarter inches around so she's pretty much an average head size i am nine and three quarter inches from my hairline to my chin and i'm almost 23 inches circumference so i have a average large to large size head so i'm going to show you how these look different depending on what the person's head base shape is. So this young lady is wearing voltage right now and I didn't really do much to it, but that's basically voltage and I'll take it off of her. Okay. It's got an extended nape, a felted front headband, uh, felt it, yeah, well, they're not really open ear tabs, so you can put your glasses through there. It's wefted. Okay, now I'm going to put it on. And you can see that it looks much shorter on me than it did on the average head size. Okay. Um, I'll give you as much as I can because I'm really jammed in here to try to get everything in the camera. Okay. It's a little spiky in the back, but that's basically voltage. I'm sure you've seen reviews on it online. Now I'm going to show you voltage on my little petite friend here. When I bought voltage, I had watched, it was my, one of my first wigs that I purchased, and I had watched a reviewer do it, and I loved it on her. Well, come to find out after I got voltage and it looks like this, I was very disappointed because she is this size. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on this one. See, it's long. It's like chin length and down here. It's fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. It looks so voluminous on her. Okay. This is going to give you an idea of what a wig will look like on you when you go to purchase one. I really advise you to look at many reviews. That way you can see how it looks on different people. And that way you'll know how it's going to look on you and you won't be disappointed the way I was. Okay, now I'm going to show you this other one. Okay, this is a Model, I think, no, Modu, Modu Collection, M-O-D-U. And like I said, I got it out of a, a brick and mortar wig store on their clearance sale rack several years ago. All right, it has, it's a two, it's two colors. So it's like a strawberry blonde on the top and a darker auburn underneath in the bottom. And the nape fits tight to the neck. All right, it's got combs in the back. 
kind of an extended nape with a comb. It's all wefted. It's got covered air tabs with a lot of fiber on them. Comb in the front here. The fixed part. Another comb here. And another covered air tab with a lot of fiber sewn in. Okay. I'm going to show it to you first on the petite wig head. <laughs> it's hard to do it without being able to stand in front of it and do it. But anyway, um, let me get that ear tab right and then we'll be all set. There we go. Okay. And of course you would comb it the way you want to comb it. But it has a fixed part, so you cannot change this part. The part is there. All right. Let me just give it a little bit. There. Okay. And you can see on her, it fits down quite a ways. It's almost to her chin, actually. And the back is quite long, down on the, the neck. All right. Now I'm going to show it to you on the medium person, the average person. All right. Now this wig store that I buy these at, um, the clearance rack, you cannot try them on. You buy them, you take them home, and you hope that they're going to be great. Because they're only like $13.99, $12.99. I mean, they're really inexpensive. So when she's clearing them out. So I will show you what it looks like on me with the lodge head. And as you can see, on me, it fits much shorter, much shorter. Okay, and that's how the neck fits on me. It's very short on me. You know, it, it does cover, but it's very short. Okay. So that is how you can see that there's quite a difference in the way one wig will fit on three different pe people with three different head sizes. Um, and I just wanted you to know this because it's going to help you when you're trying to shop for wigs. And you won't be disappointed the way I was when I bought this one. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.